The internet is one of the United States' most robust and growing industries. It enables free and open communication among billions, and it's been the backbone for protests around the world. But a new bill proposes we give the power to censor the internet to the entertainment industry. It's called Protect IP, and here's how it works. I know you all have, last time you all saw me, I was talking all about movies as I usually do. But let me just take a couple moments of your time because I have a guest today for the first time, a Trini guest. <laughs> all right. And what we'll be talking about basically is this censorship shit that has been going on um, in the American. Um, just let him tell you what it is. Let me introduce you first of all. Um, he's the founder and producer of our locally based, of a locally based international uh, website called freepride.org. And what basically they do is that they're an LGBTQI um, resource and educational website. <sighs> okay, so hi Nick. Hey T, how are you? I'm fine. Um, what it is really going on? What are we going to be talking about today? See, I wanted to talk about two acts called SOPA and Protect IP. Mm -hmm. And they are two United States legislation that are in progress right now in Congress. Basically, what they do is they will give government and large movie head studios permission to censor the internet as we know it. Okay. And um, why, 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 should we, why should we care about any of this? We should care about it because the internet that they experience right now in China or let's say Iran, mm -hmm. well, this time is 10 times worse because this law would give an absurd amount of power to government and to the large movie head studios like NBC, Universal, all of the big and even for music and such to give them these absurd amount of powers to censor and eliminate any website that have at least one copyright link they have that power to destroy the internet as we know. Yeah, but don't they already have that kind of power in, a, in, in somewhat in the sense that um, a lot of these websites now like uh, YouTube and, you know, Vimeo and all of them, they censor us. Anytime we have anything that says copyright, if they uh, appeal to them, they take us down right away. So what's the big deal? Why do they want more power? The reason why they want more power is because they say that how because copyright infringement, they lose millions and millions of dollars in the industry, and they are not satisfied with the with what tools they have, like the Digital Millennium Act and the laws that they have right now. They have laws to protect them, but they're not satisfied. They want more done. But however, this law is not going to come back piracy because the downloaders and the pirates are going to basically bypass the government mandation and regulations. So pirates would find a way to escape it, but the only people who would suffer are the casual internet users and consumers. So basically what you're saying, the reason why YouTube grew in the first place, you know, you know, people, you know, wanting to cover songs and stuff like that and to do their fan made videos, they won't be able to do Very anything good. like that? No. Basically, remember, YouTube was a startup company. Any startup company right now, if this law existed, YouTube would never exist. Facebook wouldn't exist. MySpace wouldn't exist. None of these sites would exist if this law comes into legislation. And when is this thing supposed to happen? When are they supposed to vote this, on this? This law is actually happening right now. And the movie head studios have been pushing for this law for decades ago. But what happened is they're trying to lobby very quickly to get it away from public attention. And what is important is we educate how dangerous this law is. It can break the internet. So how are we fighting and it? We how are we fighting it? We must fight it by going online and learning about it and joining the international protests by going online at AmericanCensorship.org. Okay. All right. And what, what, what exactly what are they doing? Are we now creating our own do we have your our own lobbyists or do they have their own lobbyists to, to you know fight it i mean is youtube and, and as you said facebook and all these places backing them in terms of fighting it that is correct there's a large amount of companies like yahoo google reddit 
Wikimedia, Wikipedia that is all going against it. But we must raise our voices and let all of the senators know that we are against it. Otherwise, they would just they would pass this law and we would lose our freedoms, our creativity and innovation. And we will lose a free space that the internet is right now. But I do understand why America, who, which is supposed to be the land of the free and the innovative and place where you know, swarm and can rise up, especially if you come that from, you know, an oppressed country or even somewhere that you don't have the rights such as you're supposed to have in America. Why are they letting something like so oppressive, so much, you know, so, you know, uh, invasive take, take place? Because the, lobby, the lobbyists or the large movie head studios are paying the money in government. All right, so, so, so what, 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 what the girls should do? What, what should all of us do? What can we do right now? Everyone from your girls on PNT TV and from Free Pride and the world to spread the word about this law. SOPA and protect IP and advocate against it. We must spread the word of this important law before it passed. And the sad and scary part is that it can pass. Uh, so no is, there, is there a petition? Is there a way? Is there a way to you know put yes. anything on your website and stuff like that? Or should they just go yes. to um? What did you call it? Uh, the American Censorship org, right? Um, that is correct. It has so everything. you just go there, visit there, and you they will basically tell you what you need to do or what can you do. Any what you can do. There are many options from Facebook, YouTube. You can be writing letters. You can send videos. You can talk to them. A lot of options they give. So you can go there online there. All right. Um. Girls, all I can tell you is this is really something very, very serious. It affects all of you. Even if you don't have uh, a website, I'm sure you all have blogs, you all have Tumblr pages, you all have any one of these little things, all of these will be affected. So I suggest you go to americancensorship.org, check it out. If you can't or, or don't want to do anything, at least you can do is to share it. Share it as many times as possible and as many places as possible. Um, because your rights are basically being taken of a very, very real impact in the world, in Americans, right. everywhere else. So, um, girls, that's it for now. Uh, you will see me back with a, with a very special announcement in a couple of weeks' time. So, mwah, and I'll see you all soon. And bye, Nick. Thank you, T, for having me. <laughs>